Council is requesting your attention. Secure transmission coming in now. Dr. Valen's interrogation technique certainly is efficient. You'd never know it by looking at her. But that woman is an alien's worst nightmare. A member of the Triad criminal organization has reached out to one of our contacts. Although we have little interest in the man himself, he allegedly has in his possession a piece of unique technology. We'll need you to investigate. We will transmit further details to Central. Yes, this is the first part of one of the DLC missions that um, were available. Uh, I don't remember if this was a DLC mission for Enemy Unknown or if this was the one specific to Enemy Within. Um, but this is one of two we were doing. The one where we were trying to get the, uh, the reluctant guy out of the uh, alien hotspot, the one that didn't want to go with us, that's the first part to the uh, other of the DLCs. So now we are starting this one, and we definitely want to do this because there are some good rewards. I mean, besides those rewards, we also will get, um, we'll get another soldier out of it. We look forward to seeing your progress. Yeah, you know me. Okay, well, let's see. We got our heavy back. Uh, let's see. I'm going to take them off for just a second and see... No, I'm still, uh, I'm still down there in the uh, infirmary faking it, and Revenant Wings is still hurt too. Okay, so let's see. Um, okay, yeah, this can be a tricky one, so I definitely want to keep. Um, the snipers I have established in there. Let's see. Um, okay, Misfit, we'll bring you back in on assault. I like that Corporal Kitten. <laughs> Aren't you just the cutest little assault shotgunner? <laughs> and... Well, Revenant Wings is still out, and I do need a support trooper, so... Um, we're gonna roll with D.Va again. Armor, light machine gun, rocket launcher, uh, mouthwash. Pretty sure I don't need arc throwers for this. <laughs> oh, this is no stealth mission. Trust me, that will come later. Wait, come to think of it, is XH still in here? Let me see something. Yeah, in case XH is uh, still in there, in here I'll use him. Um, yeah, the problem is I haven't been able to get in touch with... Uh, with D.Va to find out how she wants to customize. Oh, lost power, that's right. Okay. Gilgamesh, are you still in here? Hey, Revenant Wings! Welcome back. Uh, you're still in the, um... Uh, you're still in the infirmary. And, uh, we are about to go get a, uh, friend of ours from the Triad.
<laughs> Wouldn't that just back it up? And, and by back it up, I don't mean, like, you know, to an external hard drive. I mean clog it. I'm sticking with med kits because if I remember right on this mission, anything I run into alien-wise um, is going to be something that I've already captured. So there is no reason to mess with an arc thrower this time around. So let's support heavy. Okay, that looks like a fairly balanced crew. Rick, Rick, it's over. Let sleeping dogs lie. We have visual on the mission site. Setting down. We're heading into China for the next operation. Chongqing, China. Escort VIP and the alien artifact to the extraction point. Eliminate any resistance. VIP must survive. Victor Ignatius Purcell. Yes, he did. Yes, he did pick that. <laughs> you must be my contacts. No one who fears reprisal would make an entrance like that. Not so different from killing a man. It won't take long for them to realize I'm missing. Especially since I've got this thing with me. If you take me with you, it's all yours. That's our man. And it looks like he's got the package with him. We'll need to get him back to the extraction point in one piece. His former employers, not to mention the invaders, will be looking for him. Objective updated. Yeah, now the one thing I don't get about this, if he's that good a shot, and obviously he's tri he's former triad, he has no problem, you know, with killing. Why the hell did he throw away the pistol? I mean, at least, you know, you know, at least in, in I mean, the asshole that was, was captured, too, I can almost understand why he didn't, because they didn't want to give him a gun if he didn't want to go in the first place, but this guy wants to go. You know? This guy, by the way, Zhang. I'm not sure where my boss got this thing, but he was taking offers from a variety of bidders, regardless of their intentions. Uh, maybe. So... Um, this is, uh, as you can see by the arrow, pretty much a straight shot uh, through the graveyard. No pun intended. Roger, tracking. But, um, there's a lot more to it than that, because we're going to be attacked every so often. So, what we're going to want to do... Well, that sucks. Fuck that move up. What we're going to want to do is have some overlooks here um, and move in a group in cover as much as we can. For, forgive me, what does shipping mean? I'm very out of touch with uh, modern slang. Oh, so, so they're in your fanfic, basically. I've done I've done that before. I just never knew it was. It went by that name. All right. Kitten, 
you are going to be scouting ahead. You are going to be our first line of defense. Moving to designated coordinates. Yeah, now this works a little differently because things are not so much location triggered as they are time triggered. Basically, ever after every so many moves, then, you know, shit's going to come down. Yeah, no, you're getting re you're getting a ready to fire in your. Strike one. We've got a wave of X-rays closing on your location. Eyes up. Well then. <laughs> Well, it's dead anyway. I don't know who missed. Um, Goober Slot, this is not so much timed as in you have this many turns to get them there, though there are a few of those in XCOM. Um, it's timed as in every three or two rounds or three rounds, enemies are going to show up. So, it's one of those things where you have to figure, okay, well, I'm clear this round, and I might be clear the next round, but in one round, I'm going to have shit all over me again. Oh, I see. For want of... Heading there now. <laughs> that big pylon, or that big uh, stone penis was in the way. Yeah, one thing that does make this uh, mission annoying is that a lot of the enemies are Thin Men. And when Thin Men are executed, they have that big cloud of poisonous gas. So, you have the issue then of, you know, well, crap, you know, the Thin Man was right in my way, and now I have poisonous gas in my way. I have actually managed to um, handle this mission solely by um, moving everybody at a slow pace and just overwatching at the end of every turn. And basically the effect there is you know, as soon as the aliens drop in, I'm normally just blasting the crap out of them. Seem trivial, delivering equipment to a predetermined drop point. Here, huddle up next to a tombstone. You'll be fine. Uh, by the way, what do you want on it? Pepperoni and cheese? Again, hunker down is a good choice for um, uh, for the. Uh, person you're trying to escort. Heading to that location. Sadly, I can't stay in high ground very long around here. That's affirmative. Enemy spotted. Okay. So some of them actually are in a position. I just thought they all dropped in. It's been a while. Well, they could be doing worse F things. No way that just rolling. rolling, rolling, rolling. Man. 
There we go. I'm on the move. I'm on the move, nobody gonna break my stride, nobody gonna slow me down. I've got to do shit. Moving. Once I saw this device, I began to fear the implications of our involvement. Yeah, um, I would definitely agree with that, um, uh, Goober Slot. I mean, this technically is an escort mission, but, you know, it's not like you're one person trying to save one person. You're five people that can look out for one person. So it's a lot easier in that respect. The problem is i got to figure out where the fuck to move him. Okay. All right, I'm going to give him as much cover as I possibly can, and heads up, Commander. Stick your head down. You've got an intermittent contact. It's something different from the others. Oh shite! These things. Okay, well, I was actually going to move to somebody to that uh, botanical garden there, so I'm glad I didn't. Peacemaker missed, oh no. Um I'm pretty sure that was Peacemaker. That's like silent scope. Calm down. You've lost your touch. Suddenly he's become the thing from, um, uh, what the hell is it, uh, Mighty Morphin Power Rangers. Ay 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 Yeah, um, well, Grumpy there hit him. Nolan. many lines during my life but now we all face a common enemy okay you know what as long as that crystal is around there you do not move a muscle yes that's what he chose Yes, I agree. Oh, for fuck's sake. Adjusting sights. Are you aiming at the ghost man on third? What the fuck is wrong with y'all? Well. Out of the heavy, who is usually the worst shot... <laughs> manages to get it. Yeah. Hostiles pacify. No, you're the sniper. No, no, Nolden is the heavy. Usually the heavies are the worst shots. Okay. 
I don't remember if at some point they uh, pop uh, or they start uh, coming back from the other direction and attacking that way. Moving to position. Since I just got rid of some things, I can Reloaded. take a chance and reload here. Ladies and gents, are you ready to rock? Are you ready to rock? And, uh, Zhang ran out of things to say, apparently. Okay, I can work with that. Heading to that location. At, at the risk of jinxing it, um, Solid copy. I would say this mission usually goes reasonably smoothly. That was probably a mistake to say, but it is true. Yeah, pretty much. But uh, I feel actually confident in saying that. Because this is one where you can pace yourself and kind of work to the rhythm of the, uh, the invading characters. And it actually works to your advantage if you take things slowly and move and watch, move and watch. Yeah. Play a bit on your game and watch. Uh, where do I want to put you? Oh yeah, that one was ridiculous. Because the, because there really wasn't any um, as it really wasn't timed the same way as this one is, or spaced out, I guess I should say. Enemy forces headed your way, Strike One. Get ready. Get your spaghetti ready. Okay, you don't have to shoot at the same one. You back flipping morons. Good frickin' idea. Okay, what kind of a shot do we have on him? No. Thankfully there is no friendly fire in this game. Because I'd be totally screwed. Yeah, I think if I had to deal with friendly fire, I would just... I, I probably would not even bother playing this. I can get there without dashing, that's good. 
and tuck your noggin, will you? Okay, let's, um, let's get him this. moving up. Oh, I'm sure. And, you know, I'm sure people like uh, that mod in the same way that, you know, people like, uh, you know, having their balls nailed to step stools, as uh, Jim Cornette would say. But, you know, to them I say, fuck you, you're insane. Okay. Now here's the million dollar question. Can he make it all the way there? Not quite, but he can get behind cover. Well, we already see some of the aliens nude. Ain't that much to look at. I affirmative? Is that an Apple product? Okay, now's a good time for running gun. Run Let's go on in there, right next to him. Because if that way, if someone comes down trying to do something to him, I got a shot at him. And I, I need to reload. Back in. I'm on it, Commander. I don't remember for sure if you have to get everybody to the site or just, um... Just the target. Oh crap, I meant to put him on Overwatch and not reload. Wait, uh, uh, uh. No, no he didn't. I don't honestly know Gruber Slot. I never got far enough into the original XCOM to know that kind of stuff. Let me move where I'm going to move. Zhang, that was his name, I forgot. I am alive. But the life I had is gone now. Funny that my life should take such an unexpected path. Turning my back on old friends to defeat a common enemy. The device and our contact are secure. Get back to HQ for debriefing. <laughs> I think he's allowed to monologue. <laughs> of work, Commander. Our soldiers have to be feeling good after a mission like that. Yeah. I don't think anyone got hit. Totally smooth. Okay. Hey, Misfit, your nickname is now Twitch. <laughs> and, uh, X's nickname is Ghost. <laughs> maybe it's like, maybe it's supposed to be like, uh, like Tweak. Like he drank too much coffee. Okay, let's see. Disabling shot causes the target's main weapon to malfunction. Battle scanner. That's the thing I really want. And 
honestly, if I'm going to fire a shot at an enemy, I don't give a good goddamn about whether their weapon works or not. I'm firing to kill. So there we go. Battle scanner. Uh, let's see. Lightning reflexes. Force the first reaction shot against this unit each turn to miss. Close and personal, the first standard shot made within four tiles of the target does not cost an action. Can't combine with run and gun. Um, the problem is if I'm getting that close, I'm already using run and gun in all likelihood. Um, so, but yeah, lightning reflexes is very great for making people's uh, overwatch shots miss. And on top of that, uh, you know, not only will they miss you, but you can also prevent them from taking overwatch shots against other people by uh, running them, uh, by running in front of them and uh, drawing their fire. Scaredy cat. Okay. <laughs> we'll do that in a minute. Uh, sergeant for sniper. Damn good ground. Again. Grumpy. So named because he's going to be grumpy no matter what I give him. <laughs> I kid. Um, I have really no use for grenades at all. Um, I, I think they just take up an inventory slot without much use, especially since I've got rockets. Danger zone. Increases area of effect on suppression and all rocket attacks by two tiles. Yep. Let's go on the highway to it. New medal. The Council Medal of Honor is now unlocked. Sectoid Corps and Thin Man and Krypton and Hunt him and Dr. Valen has confirmed the alien device is genuine, although the alien price of the distraction site was perhaps evidence enough. Dr. Valen has several theories. I'm talking too fast. And it appears Zhang is waiting your, your orders down in the barracks. Yes, we get, we get um, Zhang as a, uh, as a heavy. Because, you know, he's got nowhere else to go and we saved his ass, so... Loyalty. Yeah. Say what you will about organized crime, they do believe in loyalty. We Mostly. Be in touch, Commander. Mm-hmm. This fit kitten is... Scaredy cat. I'm sorry, I got the whole thing. Oh, I was trying to type in scaredy cat, fuck that question mark, but it wouldn't let it. It only went so far. <laughs> yes, we will go into battle with scaredy cat. That just inspires, uh, Loyalty, doesn't it? Okay. Assign power. Okay, plus aim and will for each mission completed with no soldier de deaths up to a maximum of plus 10. Plus 10 aim and critical chance if not within seven tiles of an allied unit. So here's the thing. Um, given that I'm going to be safe scumming all through this, um, anyone who has this medal will uh, be able to work up uh, eventually plus 10 aim and plus 10 will, and those are nice to have. And award medal. Let's see. Who should we give this to? No soldier deaths with no soldier deaths. Um, I'm thinking about giving this to XH because he doesn't have any other medals yet. <laughs> uh, yes, you get a you have a, a nickname now, Revenant Wings. You just have to tell me what it is.
You've been given the medal for worst haircut in the division. Firebrand. Okay, nice. Who is that young Firebrand Smithers? Simpson, eh? We still have um, events going, but beam weapons are almost done. That's going to be nice. This episode's Graveyard Smash and Grab was made possible by Mike Panza, Rick in Baltimore, Diode, the post-production work of Matthew Carr Anderson, and all of my triad and true lycanthro fans. Thank you very much for your continued support. Until we game again.